Once you've selected your farm and which year you would like to enter data into, this page here, the enterprise section will come up. To add in the lamb, you click here, select lamb under livestock, followed by add. You will then be given the choice to name your enterprise. So you can use this enterprise for your lamb finishing, any ewe replacements that you might have, and ram lamb replacements also. So for this enterprise, we're going to call it uh, fat lambs. So these are lambs that were retained from the previous lambing um, to fatten the following year. So they are conventional. You can click organic if you're organic. Select whether you're SDA or non-SDA. Uh, and then this enterprise identifier will give the options that I spoke about earlier, whether it's lamb finishing, breeding ewe replacements, or breeding rams. So we'll click the lamb finishing for fat lambs. The breed type will go pure low lamb maternal. Livestock size. Uh, lamb finishing store lambs. Housing type, non-housing used. And then incoming lamb numbers. So just for easy maths, we'll say that we had 100 retained from the previous year that we will fatten this year. Click save and you'll see that the fat lambs and the 100 is added there. So if we just do another one for your breeding ewe replacements, so these would be ewe lambs that uh, will be put to the top of shearlings. So in this way we can record all the information about them before they go to the top. So we'll call this ewe lamb replacements. And then the same applies whether you're conventional, organic, non-SDA or SDA. And then the enterprise identifier will put as breeding ewe replacements. And you could do the same for this with the breeding rams. Again, the breed type, livestock size, so we'll go medium breeds, housing, again, no housing was used. But if housing was used, so if we clicked here, loose having on bedding, it'll then give you the option to enter weeks. And then incoming, again, we'll easy mass 100 and click save. So those are your two enterprises set up and now we need to add the information into the production tab. So if you click production and then you have these two options here. So for fat lambs, if we clicked on lambs, even though we put those 100 in the enterprise setup, we still need to add them into the enterprise in the production. So they were home produced, uh, retained at the end of the previous year, so they'll be transferred in. So if we click the edit button, we'll put those 100 in the quantity price we'll put it 75 pounds a head again you can put this as a market value um, and then the weight put them at 40 kilos and they were 210 days old then click save and you can see those 100 are there then you can then carry on here with your sales and add your sales uh, when the time is right so that's the fat lambs so we close that blade and then the same for the ewe lamb replacements. If you click the lambs, we need to add those other hundred in. So they were um, home produced, the home kept ewe lambs. So we transfer them in. So if you click edit, put those hundred in again. Uh, we'll put them slightly more expensive than the fat lambs because they're for breeding. Uh, weight at 45 kilos and again 210 days old. If you were to purchase any uh, ewe lambs then you would put this in the purchase so if you click edit in here and then you can pop your purchases in in here the same as what you did with the transferred in and that is a step-by-step -step video of how to enter lamb enterprise information into farmbench